Good evening, everyone. Prince of Sin here. Halloween is over, and uh, Otto the 80s hipster has returned back to the 80s. So now we're going to focus on Thanksgiving. And now we're going to try a little experiment. Uh, thanks to Giselle, uh, she went and got me this. It's called the Grid Big Green Egg uh, Throne. And it's basically a throne designed for a turkey. So you've seen me do my beer can tur uh, chicken. Now we're going to try beer can turkey on a big egg, green egg throne. Now, of course, this thing was supposed to be built for those green, big green egg uh, uh, barbecues that they sell in the stores, but we're going to try it Traeger style. So I'm really excited. As I said, this is an experiment, and it's a two-day thing. Be prepared, because you need to brine the chicken overnight. So, or I'm sorry, the turkey. I'm so used to saying t chicken, folks, so, get, so bear with me. You need to brine the turkey overnight. So we're going to go over right now the brining ingredients, and we'll show you how to do that. And then when the uh, turkey is all brined and cleaned, we'll go over the uh, seasoning and how to set it up on the Traeger. So let's get started. I just wanted to show you the comparison, folks. Now, you've always seen how I do my beer can chicken, and I always do it in this. That's the throne I always use because of the porcelain and the fact that it can fit a whole can or a whole bottle of beer. Well, same with this. The only difference now is not only are we going to use a whole can of beer, but we're going to use a half a can as well because the half a can is going to go in the tray, and we'll get to that later. For now, I just wanted to kind of show you the differences here. So there you are. Just one is taller for the uh, than the other. And the nice thing about this, I read about, you can put a 20-pound bird on this. So they, you could cook a big turkey on this on this thing. So it's pretty exciting. We don't have a 20-pounder. We kind of have a small one, but uh, that's it's just me and Giselle. We don't need a big bird. So for that, uh, now we're going to go over the brining ingredients. And here's the key ingredient, folks. Turkey. Butterball turkey. You can get any kind you want. We prefer to use butterball. It's the best. Hands down. It's more expensive, but it's worth it. But, like I said, you can get whatever kind you want. We have here, I think this is like a seven, yeah, close to an eight pounder here. It's a young bird, and that's all we need. So, butterball turkey. And then we're going to use vegetable stock. You can get any kind you want. This is uh, Kitchen Basics. Kosher salt. Uh, white sugar, paint, pure cane sugar. Rosemary. Uh, poultry seasoning. Or, if you don't have poultry seasoning, you can use any kind of rub if you have it. Or, what is the alternative for this, Giselle? Do you know? Sage. Okay, yeah. If you don't have poultry seasoning, you can use sage. And we're going to use thyme. And we're going to use a lot of water. And we're going to go over everything. Uh, this is most important, folks. We are going to do this uh, brine in a bag. It's one of those uh, Reynolds oven cooking bags. Do not, and I repeat, do not put your turkey in a metal container. Uh, the salt will react to it, and it can actually uh, ruin your uh, pot. If you don't have a bag, use a plastic container like an ice chest. Uh, that would work uh, just fine as well. Okay, we're going to start the brining process first. We got a little cleaning to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this and we're going to take out the uh, neck, the giblets, the gizzards, all that, and we're going to clean out the bird and uh, we'll begin the brining process. This is the example I was telling you folks. This is the bag we're going to put the turkey in with the brine. If you don't have one of these bags, you can use an ice chest, a plastic ice chest, not a foam one, a plastic one. Just make sure it's uh, nice and clean inside and scrubbed and just clean as a whistle and you can use that for your brine. Okay? You'll be putting the bird in the bag? Yep. We're going to put the bird in the bag and then we're going to put it in a metal pot. But we're going to make sure, of course, the bag doesn't leak and all that. We'll test it so, to be uh, on the safe side. But as I said, if you don't have one of these bags, you can use an ice chest as a substitute because you can put the brine and the turkey in that and uh, uh, put it in overnight. All right, now that I've uh, gone over that, let's uh, get started. So there's our bird all nice and clean, rinsed out, everything taken out. 
neck, giblets, livers, gizzards, and it's all nice and clean. Now we're going to make our brine mix. You're going to need a large pot like this. Also, folks, real quickly, if you do not have kosher salt, you can use iodized salt. The recipe will call for half a cup if you use iodized salt. We actually ran a little short of kosher salt, so we're going to use the iodized salt. All right, first we're going to add the vegetable stock, and this is a grand total of two quarts. Which is eight cups. Which is eight cups. Mmm, mm. smells like vegetable soup. Zoom tight. Huh? <laughs> There's two. Okay. So that's the vegetable stock. Now we'll add the salt. Half a cup. If you do not have kosher salt. Okay. And you will need half a cup sugar, white sugar. Not brown. Not brown. You don't want the brown sugar. Now, I have the me uh, measuring spoons out, and you see all the herbs here. And Giselle, you need one tablespoon. Of each one. Of each one. I like this poultry seasoning, folks, as you should see how it really seasons the bird really nice. Just add it in there. We'll cap it, set it to the side. How you know you use that one? And now we got our rosemary. One tablespoon. Rosemary goes great with poultry. Yes, it does. Helps give it a nice, rich flavor. And that's the idea of this uh, new. Uh, brine we're doing folks is to give the turkey a nice rich herb flavor and now we're going to use a full tablespoon of thyme. thyme yeah that's what I said that's also great with poultry yes it is so now we've added all our ingredients we're going to set our burner to medium heat and Sim we're going to just simmer it and stir everything until the salt's completely dissolved. Once it's completely dissolved, as Giselle uh, said, we're going to let the uh, brine cool down. And it says to cool down, you want to let it cool down for a half hour. And this is all you do, folks, is you keep stirring it. Just let it simmer for a good 15 or minutes or so. All right, so we'll come back to this when this is all uh, when this starts to boil, and then you got an, and then you'll get an idea, and then uh, we'll get it uh, stirred some more when it starts boiling, and then we're just gonna let it cool down after that. We take it off the heat, let it cool about thirty minutes, and then we'll go to the next step. That's adding water. Yep. And this is what you want, folks. You want it to boil. Then once it starts boiling, you want to take it off the heat, but you want to make sure everything is dissolved. Of course, the flakes on the top are not going to dissolve. You just want the complete brine to dissolve. So it. take it off the burner and yep. just let it cool down for 30 minutes or longer, however long it takes for it to completely cool down. Remember, this is going on in a bag with a turkey and some water. Yeah, we're going to get to the water in a few minutes. We're going to let this cool down first, so we'll come back. Okay, so we've let the brine cool down, and now we're going to add eight cups of cold chilled water. We'll pour that in. And then we'll take our little whisk, and we'll whisk it a little bit. Get it all stirred in there.
And there we have it. Now comes the fun part. Putting the brine with the turkey in the bag. So we're going to pause and uh, get that prepped up. Okay, so what we did is we uh, put the uh, turkey into the uh, uh, bag and we poured the brine mix in and then we cleaned out this pot here and then we put it, placed it all in there. So the bird is completely sealed in this bag and it's sitting in this pot. Uh, now we're going to put it in the refrigerator and it's going to brine overnight. What I'm going to do to also submerge the bird a little bit as well as uh, help cool the brine down is I'm going to put some ice cubes on the top of this bag and that will keep it weighed down and it will keep the brine nice and cold because the important thing is you want the brine cold. That's the only way it's going to uh, uh, brine the bird. All right. So step one is done. We'll see you uh, the next day for step two. All right, so it's the next day, and we've let our bird brine overnight and just kind of give you an idea there. We're going to take it out, and we're going to rinse it thoroughly. But first, I just kind of want to go over the ingredients that we're going to use for the uh, cooking process now. Uh, you're going to need one and a half cans of beer, not two full cans, just one and a half. You'll need olive oil. You'll need a rub. We're going to use this. Spice Island's turkey rub. But you can use any kind of rub you want. This is savory herb with garlic, rosemary, thyme, and sage. Right. And if you have the big green egg, you're going to need that. And you're going to need a tray to go underneath it. That'll catch all... That's going to hold the uh, half a can of beer and it's going to catch all the juices that fall from the turkey. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to clean up the bird here. That's going to take a few minutes. Uh, uh, we're going to take it out of the brine, drain the brine, we're going to rinse the bird off. You want to rinse off the bird real, real good because you want to get all that brine off uh, before you start doing all this. Okay, so we're going to do that and we'll be right back. Hi, we're ready. All right, so take a look at our bird. What did you do? We rinsed it real good and then we patted it dry. Uh, some of, you've noticed that some turkeys come with the legs uh, uh, tied like that. We're actually going to untie them after we get done seasoning because you want the legs to the side. Kind of like the chicken when we do beer can chicken. Alright, so we're going to take one can of beer. We're going to tilt this so that the beer doesn't foam too much. And we're going to slowly pour it in. Beer. Beer is good for you. 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 All right, so there we go. One full can of beer is in there. Now we're going to take some of the uh, seasonings that we got that came from that turkey rub. It's all right. You hear it bubbling. Now. We're going to take this can of beer and just pour half of it in here, all around the tray area here. That's actually good right there. That's about half. And like I said, this is going to provide extra steam as well as help catch the uh, um, droppings. Now, we're going to take some of the uh, herb seasoning I'll put it in my hand and I'm going to get the inside of the cavity here. Let's kind of get the upper up here, the lower. And then there you go. Now we're going to take this uh, part off the legs here, open the legs up. And we're going to slowly put our turkey onto the big green egg. Here we go. It's like a bat wing. Mm. It's a little crooked here. Let's see if we can straighten it out. 
Yeah, that's about as best as we'll get it. And you want to keep the wings like right there. We'll tuck the wings in under the legs if we can, or we well, got to season it right with. Yeah. The, so do that later. Unfortunately, he's going to tilt, and it's just how the bird is shaped. But uh, we're going to start seasoning it now. So the way we do that, I'm going to put a glove on real quick. I'm going to take some olive oil. Patient's ready, doctor. You know what? Pause for a minute. I'm going to see if I can straighten him out. Go ahead and pause. Well, I couldn't straighten her out, folks. It's just the way the uh, bird is positioned. It's crooked. Yeah, it's all right. It's like it's drunk or something. Yeah, the drunken turkey. Get the wings here. And we'll get the back. The size is booty. Booty, booty, booty. Looks pretty good. All right, now we're going to take our seasoning and just uh, season them up. Well, I'm going to start here in the back. It's a little easier. The idea is I want to try and use up the seasoning if I can. We'll even put some in the neck here. Alright, so the back side. Get the leggies. Yep, we'll get the wings. Get the wings all around there. On the inside. Get the legs, just like that. He is leaning way too much. Now we'll get some more on the breast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. I'm going to see if I can adjust them, folks. But uh, there, you got the idea. He's nice and seasoned. Okay, with whatever rub you have on hand. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right, so we straightened him up. Yeah, it just turns out the uh, it wasn't fully inserted correctly, so there we go. Now he's in and he's ready to go. We got our Traeger going. You want to start your Traeger at uh, smoke, leave it on for four to five minutes, then set the temperature to 350 degrees, and we're using mesquite pellets to cook this bad boy. So we're going to take it out to the Traeger now, folks. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, birdie. Okay, folks, because this bird is a little bit on the big side, I had to remove the rack and set it on the uh, drip pan, which will work fine. I also added a, the smoke tube to give it an extra smoky flavor. So we're going to close it now. We're going to check it every hour. And the reason we're going to, it'll be about two, two and a half hours. We're going to check it every hour to make sure it's not burning on the top. If it starts getting too brown on the top, we're going to put aluminum foil on it. But by checking it every hour, we also want to make sure it's not drying out. So uh, we're going to start at two hours. And then 
you want 165, be, between 160 to 165 in the breast, about 175 to 180 in the thigh, and then it's going to set for 30 minutes and it'll continue to cook as it sets. So, we'll see you in one hour. Look at that beautiful bird! Can't wait, and it's done. I just checked it. It was in here for one hour and 30 minutes. And the breast read one, about 163, the thigh read 180, so it is finished. Oh. <laughs> Woo. that burn off. So we're going to take it inside and you want to let it set for about 30 minutes. So 30 minutes later, we're going to carve ourselves a beautiful bird. Let's just hope it came out good. I'm excited. Hey, not bad if I do say so myself. It's the same thing like everything else. Not bad. Of course it's not bad. It's the chicken, the booty. The booty, the booty, the booty, 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 booty. And in exactly 23 minutes, we're gonna carve it. Gotta let it set for 30 minutes. Believe it or not, folks, I actually had a backup plan if it didn't fit in my Traeger. I actually had the oven on as a backup plan set at 350, but it was able to fit because I made it work. So there we go. Now, the big question is, how will it taste? We'll find out. When we're ready to cut it, we'll come back to you. And what goes better with turkey? How about homemade mashed potatoes? Giselle's uh, boiling up some potatoes here. We're going to mash them and we're going to have fresh mashed potatoes. The only thing we do, we don't make our own gravy. We buy this stuff. Yes, we buy tur uh, gravy in a jar. Why? It's the same as homemade. Actually got Giselle hooked into this years ago. And she loves it. Ain't that right? I think it beats doing forever, ever, and ever. Yep. This is my favorite part here. See the juice is already coming out, folks? Look in there. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Just be careful you don't cut yourself. See the smoke right there, the pink? Lift it right up there. Right there, see that pink? Hmm. You want to cut me a little bit, of, uh, a little piece, and I'll give it a taste test. Wow. That was the tail. All right, let's try that. Okay. Is it really moist? It feels like it. All right. Oh wow, that's good. You're being honest? You gotta be good on this one. I did good? You gotta try these two slivers. Yeah, we were kind of worried, folks, because of the brine. We thought maybe it would make it extra salty. Is it or no? 
Try the, no, the chicken. Try those the, two pieces. It is like this is how soft it is. It is practically crumbling in my fingers. Look at this. What do you think? That's amazing. The seasoning you can taste. You can taste the smokiness. It's really good. You by chance noticed that in the Traeger I used a smoking tube. That's optional. You don't have to use that. I did that so it would give an extra smoky flavor. But Success! Our first beer can turkey with our new big green egg thrown. Success! Try it out. Let me know how, how you like it. Like and subscribe for more. But we're going to enjoy this now. So we're going to let you go. This is Princess Sin saying goodbye for now.